So we've got ourselves Chesney. He is going to be a 94 team of the season. And honestly, it's not a bad objective. Well, SBC to get done, to be fair. If you are still struggling for any sort of keeper, then we might as well give him a go. He's 50,000 coins at the minimum. He's a 94 team of the season you could use in an SBC. We are liking him being six foot five, which is fantastic. He has got stats wise that are decent enough. Play styles, he does have all of the play styles, which is good in himself. Far throw, footwork, cross claim, and rush out. To be honest, it's been a long time since I've ever done a team of the well, not even a team of the season, but a goalkeeper review in general. Because predominantly, I just keep to Casillas. I love Van der Sar if I ever get him out of an icon pack. But let me know down below what keeper you're rocking. Could you see yourselves changing to Chesney right? now now in terms of goalkeepers if you are ever in need of a review for one i normally keep the basic on him i don't normally bother changing any sort of play styles for, or chemistry styles for a goalkeeper i don't think it's really warranted in any way it's got everything you kind of need here you're not really gonna kind of get a big bonus on anything really like even the the, the speed is the only thing you kind of need a bit more of and you can't really get much more of that. You get plus two, and that is the maximum. Now, in terms of the SBC, it's 50,000 coins. We're looking at 86 rated, one team of the season, and his Serie A. That is all you've got to get done for him. So let's jump into him. We'll kind of put him into the foot champs qualis to see, uh, hopefully, a bit of competition and pray they actually have a shot. We're going against a very basic team there. Okay, so this, I'd say, this is going to be interesting. Is he even going to leave straight away or. Okay, he's going to pause it, fair enough. It will be interesting, but normally when it comes to keeper reviews in general, is he... What on earth is he... Okay, is he just... Oh, well. I mean, Chesney, 100%, 10 out of 10 performance in that one. Didn't let a shot in, didn't let a goal in. But as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by an own goal, is the fact that keepers are very difficult to actually review because obviously when it comes to keepers... If you're going against somebody with a little bit about them, you'll find that they'll definitely narrow down the actual goal percentage, like the, the kind of goal rate, rather than going... Wow, okay. Uh, rather than going... I was going to say, is he going for an own goal as well? But rather than going for a shot that's going to be... Oh, beautiful. That's going to be like a 50%. You're going outside the box, you're giving a, a hit, a one-on-one. -on -one. They more than likely will narrow down the shot, so it's almost like a 90% chance it goes in. And to be honest, that doesn't matter on keeper either way, because obviously, if it's a 90% chance for, for anybody, they're going to bring it one-on-one, -on -one. they're going to try and go around you, they're, they're going to make it so there is very little chance that the keeper's going to save it. It's going to be literally to the point where you could potentially maybe goalkeeper move it. Oh, I've given him the spot there. Get to the side. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Still got 100% save rate. But that's kind of the hardest bit when it comes to goalkeepers and not having a crazy amount of time. Let's say if I'm trying to rush to get him done. We know full well, like, I'm in the third match right now. They have had zero shots bar from this that one guy then who just managed to find an opening. Other than that, there has been nothing. So it's very difficult to get goalkeepers and get a kind of a full review. But before like doing a fair few matches because it's it sometimes people just leave straight away as we saw from them qualies games they literally left after well a, a free win and then one shot one goal one shot and that's all it's took but i would say a good thing from chesney is fifty thousand coins for an spc 186 a team of the week or team of the season is really not that expensive that's a good turn we're going to get the block off, though. Uh, that That's a good bet to have. It's it's not necessarily going to break the bank in any way. So even if you kind of put him down and, and think, ah, okay, I don't, don't really like him that much, you're not losing out. So at the minimum, I would say he's worth at least a fodder chance. Where are we going? What on earth was that from his keeper? That was awful. Ooh. Uh, no, oh, yeah, no, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Now, I don't know if Chesney's more feet or hands, to be honest, because I'm pretty sure, I was going to say, he normally has a pretty fantastic kick, and that was spectacular. It's a great ball into Vinny, right into the open there. Vinny's going to come all the way across. Oh, a penalty, we take it. It's Technically, that is a Chesney assist, if I am say so myself. We'll put Vinny on it, because then technically it's a full assist. 
and pray that Summer, he's going to be the other bet in, really. I feel like I do prefer Chesney over Summer, even though Summer's technically one rating more. I've always found that Chesney was not a bad team of the season keeper. Over the many years he's had one, he's normally done pretty well. So out of, what, Allison, Coble, Donnarumma... Simons is not as much. I just think the ratings really kind of lackluster for him. I would put him in the debate with Allison and Donnarumma more than anything. That's not a foul as well. So that's going to be kind of like a an initial view from him at the moment. Get the ball over. Get the one more. Can we get the one more? He's going to put it into his own net. And he's given me another penalty. What is going on? He's going to leave before he gets his second shot. I swear. Could this be the moment? Is he taking a shot from there? Oh, I mean... Oh, hold on a second. How on earth did I get a red card? I mean, we take another save from Chesney there. I'm counting it. I want to see that long ball again. Let's get that big big up there. Look for a Vinny. Oh, maybe not. Go on, give me a Vinny. Vinny made that run onto the wide wing. I want to see that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's done enough. Is that a corner? He's done enough if he's done it. That's my own fault, but... Yeah, he did. Fair enough. He got the kick on that. That's a footwork for you, that is. That's why the play styles are <laughs> marginally important. Can we bring him out? Is he going to go for goal? Nah, no chance. Not from there. What have we got kick-wise? Now, kick. I swear, all goalkeepers. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm kicking wrong there, but that's just atrocious stuff. Get a save. Get a save. He's not even going to get a shot off, is he? He's going for it. It's a good block. Of all the play style pluses, get it! And that's what I mean. Shots like that. I, no keeper saving it. Like, if you are saving it, you've either moved the keeper or you've got very, very lucky. So, it, it's one of them, really. I can't believe he's given me two penalties and I'm the one with a player down. That's awful. Genuinely. How, how? How is he giving me two penalties, but I'm the one with a red card? <laughs> I don't even know what the red card was for as well. That's the worst bit about it. I feel like I could give him, get me to give me another penalty as well. Good save from Summer. Kind of going a Summer versus Chesney route here. I and mean, I must admit, both of them looking terrible. But technically, we got 10 men. So we've given him two very uh, very easy chances, to be honest. Correa's just absolutely smoked the centre-backs. And again, he's looking like he's doing the same. Defensive is uh, Defending is not on point. Just need him to pass it because that's not where he's on point either. And he's left at 2-2. Okay. Right then, let's see if we can find an opponent that will do something then. And I wish if you could find like a a, a formation that you can... Uh, there, there was somebody that, that did this... I, I don't know, they had two players. And basically it was like one of them would pass it back to the goalkeeper. And the other would like just absolutely wail it with the goalkeeper and for some reason somebody was always standing there but it wasn't even if the uh, if the other person was that person as well like that person uh like the the player that was just there was just there in general it wasn't like he kind of moved him there he was always on the kind of far wing and the ball threw from the keeper i, I swear was broken like the ball just was perfect kind of like the first vinny ball that i did it was just absolutely spot on every time and he did it like Four or five times until I could actually figure out where on earth get that ball back to him. Nice. Good play. Good calm and collective, which is what we want from him. Look for the switch in play as well. And we go for the one, two. I mean, we've got the one. Oh, we're going to. Okay. The two's offside. Is the two offside? Yeah, the two's offside. <laughs> Ooh, some good passing. Jarzinho coming around. I don't know if this was the Galazzo, but the problem is my defense is absolutely on point when it comes to blocking. <laughs> That's something when it comes to, to my defense is doing really well is blocking the shot is just absolute number one. So I probably think Casillas is the best keeper in the game, and yet it's probably my defense that's doing absolutely everything for me. I feel like he'll end up with a shot at some point. Is this going to be the moment? Oh, it's a final first actual proper save from Chesney. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think keepers even matter at this point. As long as it's kind of like in, in a decent rating. If you're looking at a top end one, any team in the seasons, to be honest, I think you'll be absolutely fine. Chesney is, is always going to have my kind of stamp of approval from previous years. Normally, that's a good ball. 
See what I mean? Like, that, that's the goal that you expect of everybody. And it's the goals normally, I'd, I'd imagine, like, 90% of you will concede. Because now the defenders are so good with the blocking, with the getting across. It literally takes breaking the complete defense down. So that literally it's like a one-on-one -on -one every time to actually get a shot off now. So you, you should be fine with most goalkeepers. But I think Chesney, if you're looking at a Serie A team, then, then obviously him or Summer. I personally would like him over Summer in, in my opinion. But that is kind of being a, as well with the whole almost uh, bias. The fact that he's had so many team of the seasons. And normally when it comes to goalkeepers... When we saw the likes of like De Gea and, and, and Courtois and stuff, they're good in every FIFA. And it's why Van der Sar is always a good shout because he is good in every FIFA. He's normally the top uh, kind of keeper that you get in every FIFA. So it's quite an easy one to have the debate really. And, and he proves it year in, year out. Because I think for the goalkeeper meta, there's not really any meta to it. Normally, I kind of thought it was speed. Then it was kind of speed and height. Then it was just pure rating. And there is no consistent uh, data or value to say why a keeper's good or not. Like, you could even argue the playstyles. There's some keepers that don't have any of the playstyles and do really well. Make them another good save. Defender comes across. So, for me, I, I, I would personally go with whatever your heart is. Um, if you've got Chesney, then, then perfect. If you need a Serie A team building, then that's going to be perfect. We could see that ball across. We're not going to get to it, though. Um, then, obviously, that's going to be a great shout, especially if you didn't get Summer. Um, and then, obviously, if you've already got, like, an Icon Keeper or Summer, whether you want to uh, disrupt the balance of your, of your kind of team already, then then that's fair enough. But for 50000 at the minimum, he's going to be worth it for the fodder point of view because you can go and get rid of some duplicates for him and you get yourself a cheeky 94 then. So, for me, I'm going to say it's a big dub for an SBC at the minimum. The, the price shouldn't be that expensive anyway because Keepers are Keepers. Like, we have so so many of them. Ooh, get the ball off to Soloff. And Van der Sar would always be my number one. Ah, and a good save. So going into the overall then. Honestly, I think 50,000 is more than fair for him. Uh, I don't think he could have been more or less, to be honest. He's got 86 rated team, one team of the season, Serie A. It's nice and easy to grind, especially with the Serie A team of the season out. You more than likely will get duplicates um, just to be able to grind it out quite quickly. 86, again, if you've got like yourself, even if you've got what, in the Serie A team of the season, if you've managed to get a Ferguson dupe, um, kind of think of anyone, Pellegrini's quite cheap. Even if you go further down to a Benesa or Vlahovic, you're looking at 25,000 for a 91. That's going to lower the rating of uh, the 86 as well. So that's always perfect. Now, in terms of goalkeeper order, my I did a video on it on the main channel, in fact, on the goalkeepers today. So, of course, they needed to bring another goalkeeper into the mix. Now, if we look by price... Personally, for me, Van der Sar is going to be always number one. He's, he's kind of been a fan favorite as uh, for many, many years. Obviously, United as well. But in general, most people gravitate to Van der Sar. Czech has definitely become a slight favorite. I don't know if it was since the SBC. Maybe I've had a few more games with him. A decent card for the for the SBC price. Definitely not terrible. Then I'd kind of be looking at your Allison. I'd be looking at your Donnarumma and Chesney. Then it would kind of go down to Casillas, Yashin potentially, and the other team of the season. So you'd be looking at Koble. You'd be looking at Summer. And then kind of you go further and further down. So I do think he definitely puts himself in there. Especially the fact that you can get him as a cheeky SBC which is nice. But then also, he does fit into the Serie A uh, narrative as well. I don't know if there's any... How many Juventus? You've got Vlahovic, Rabiot, and is that it? And Bremer. Is that is that all of them? Yeah, so you got one one team of the season per position sort of thing. So you've got them in the Juventus if you really wanted to. It's a shame that he's not a team of the season plus because as well, I know that we've got a lot of Serie A, we've got a lot of icons, but the fact that he's Polish in the non-native league, so he's not Italian in the Italian league. It would have been nice to get a plus so we could just put him in wherever. That would have been a decent one anyway. But that is is what it is, basically. 50,000 coins at the minimum. Fodder choice. If not, get yourself in there. 94 rated. Not bad at all. And stick with the basic.